Hey, Martin here. Today we're excited to announce Remnote 1.15, the exam scheduler. Set a target exam date on any folder or document, and Remnote will automatically optimize your space repetition schedule for those cards for your upcoming exam. When you set an exam date, Remnote will add a revision period a few days before the exam, where all the cards come back to ensure that the content is not only stably in your memory, but is also top of mind so that you can retrieve it on your exam and get that high score. We'll also try to ensure mastery for every single card in the deck. We'll track the score, and if any of your individual cards are one that you're struggling with, we'll add extra repetitions before your exam to ensure that you've mastered them. Exam cards are prioritized at the top of your practice queue and at the top of your flashcards home. If you do fall behind track, we'll send you a notification, and we'll also send you notifications helping you stay on track in the days before your exam. Let's jump into it. Select any folder or document to apply the exam date to. In the drop down at the top here, next to the practice button, click set exam date. You can set the exam date either for all the cards in the folder or document, or only for specific ones. For example, if I have an upcoming quiz that only covers lectures one and two here, I can select those and then just press continue on in this quiz one. And now I can set my exam date. This quiz isn't coming up until the end of April. So after I select that, I'll then see a few choices for my practice schedule. I can either decide to start practicing today, or I can decide to start practicing later. For now, let's select the start today one, and then I can just go ahead and press confirm schedule, and that's it, I'm done. The exam is now appearing at the top of my flashcard home. If I were to go and practice, it would appear at the front there, and we'll automatically start adjusting your daily target. As you can see here, we've automatically increased it to make sure that you've practiced all of the cards that you need to on this given day. For all of your exams, you can then click on exams and goals here, and see a calendar of your upcoming number of cards you have to practice per day for each exam and your upcoming exam dates. The exam scheduler works complementary to your underlying space repetition algorithm. Your algorithm is based on a model of memory called the forgetting curve here, where you can see that over time, your chance of successfully retrieving some flashcard or some piece of information decays. Your algorithm automatically computes this curve for every single card. And when that card's retrievability falls below some certain percent here, set to around 85% by default, that card will come back into your queue. As you practice a card more and more, this curve will become flatter, so that it takes longer and longer, exponentially longer, for that card to drop down to 85%. Remnant is still using that same underlying algorithm, but making a few modifications to it. On your exam date, you don't only want to have an 85% chance of retrievability. You want that to be closer to 100. So that's why we bring the card back in the few days before the exam to get it right up near this 100% chance. Let's take a look at a few of those other customization options by going to anatomy here and giving an exam date. Here we can use one that's maybe somewhere in the middle of June. Let's first look at start today. It's automatically figured out reasonable, good defaults for you. So you don't need to customize it unless you want to. If you want to adjust the number of maximum cards per day, which is trying to cap here, the total that you're practicing, then you can go and increase that. Either let's say up to 100 or all the way up to 350. In this view, you can see the space repetition algorithm more clearly, where the intervals between these cards are increasing exponentially. This, of course, is still happening with the lower number of cards, but each of the intervals here are sort of spread out for each of the individual cards here. So they're sort of overlapping. Next, if we go to start later, then you can customize a few options about both when you start practicing. So here automatically it's suggesting that we do so six weeks before the exam to try to stay under our global daily target and ensure that we have a good number of practice sessions. In this case, we'll have ensured that we practice each of the cards at least four times before that exam date, but you can customize this to either start practicing sooner, only a single week before the exam, to practice more cards each day or less, and to control the total number of repetitions. So either I can go all the way down to one, not recommended, but if you really want to cram, you can do that, or you can increase it up to five, six, or seven, depending on your specific exam date. You can also consider the experimental option of starting today with breaks. This adjusts your schedule by reducing the amount of practice or adding some breaks during this so-called maintenance period here. Let's change this to 100 so it's a bit easier to see. During the maintenance period, if you've enabled reduced here or start today with breaks, then we will not bring back the card when it's at that 85% that we were talking about, but we'll instead let it drop all the way to 70%. This is reducing your total practice burden here. You can see that I'm only practicing each card four times here instead of the six if we were practicing it every single time without that reduced practice burden. But we are adding some extra practice during the retrievability period here to ensure that's top of mind for you 
before your exam date. You can also set this to none if you don't want to practice it all during the maintenance period. And again, we'll add some more practice during the retrievability period here for you. The advantage of this, again, is less practice and less context switching, but the memories will be a bit less stable for you. You can also customize how many practice sessions you want to have during the retrievability period. Right now, I'm only getting one, but I can go and increase that to two if I would like, or I can just directly set when the retrievability period should start. Finally, there are also a few advanced settings here where you can either limit or increase the maximum number of new cards introduced per day. I can also customize the priority between this exam and others. Here, you can see with these little gray bars that my quiz one from biology is overlapping with my anatomy quiz here. We're automatically taking that into account for you in your schedule so you don't have to worry about it. Trying to, for example, limit the total number of cards you have to practice per day to your daily target or to your max cards per day here. But if you would like, you can also adjust the priority here so that you get more cards from this exam or more cards from the other exam. And finally, if you anticipate adding extra new cards, then you can increase this here to see those represented in your graph. We've designed the exam scheduler to work for any kind of upcoming exam. If you have an important exam that's happening soon, then just go ahead and select start today here. You'll immediately begin getting all of your cards and we'll ensure that you practice them a good number of times before your exam date. If you have an unimportant quiz or if you're in a bad situation where you're cramming, that's okay. We'll still try to take care of you. Just go ahead and select start later here and either push back the start date or if you're cramming, just begin practicing now and we'll make sure that you get at least a few repetitions before your exam. If you have a large exam that's in the somewhat distant future, like off in September here, six months from now, then you should go and select start today with breaks, where you'll see that we'll reduce your practice down from seven to five here to try to save you some time, but we'll still make sure that the information is top of mind when your exam does it roll around. If you import some cards, we suggest that you start later so that you can gradually introduce the cards over time. And also, if you're not a student or you don't have active upcoming exams, you can still use the exam scheduler. For example, if you have some upcoming meeting or presentation where you want to be really sharp and have all the knowledge top of mind for that day, then you can just go ahead here, set your target date as your exam date, and then begin practicing as normal. So that's it. Again, all you need to do is go to the top of any document and press set exam date. We think that the exam scheduler fixes a long-standing issue in spaced repetition where traditional algorithms aren't actually aware of your goals. They don't know when you need to retrieve material by, and they don't know how well you want to know it. As a result, you either end up practicing too much or not enough by your exam date and might even miss out on mastering some information. Our mission is to build the ultimate space repetition and learning tool and making space repetition practical and easy to use is a really important part of this. Hope you enjoy using the exam scheduler. Thanks.